welcome to Teacher IR's channel. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell button. Thank you! God bless! Mwah! Good day! This is Teacher I, and in today's video, I am going to share with you about the circumference of a circle. Let's go! The circumference of the circle has formula okay so depending on the given so we have here circumference is equals to pi times diameter if the diameter is given but if the diameter is not given we will have another uh, formula which is the circumference is equals to 2 times the pi times the radius okay there and we also have another formula if the circumference and the diameter are given. So we have there the pi is equals to circumference divided by diameter. Okay, so let's have some problem solving using this formula. And take note, you have to make sure or analyze first the problem um, or look at the given for you to um, use the formula correctly. So, we have there this formula, okay? So, let's have this problem solving. We have here, find the circumference of a circle with a radius of 8 meters there. So, you're going to take the pi is equals to 22 over 7. Because when we are going to use just only the 3.14, um, it uh, there is a difference within this decimal. Okay, but in the decimal only, but with the, what do you call this, with the, uh, the whole number, wala naman pong difference with it. So, again, if you are asked to take the, the pi is equals to 22 over 7, please do it, not just the 3.14. Because we, we know that when we have the pi, we have this 3.14. Okay, so again, the circumference, the, what is asked here is circumference and um, the given is radius okay so let's have let's analyze that problem we have there what is asked is the circumference and we have there the given as the radius 8 meters and we're going to take the pi is equal to 22 over 7 and the formula that we're going to use is circumference is equal to 2 times the radius times the pi times radius okay so there so how are we going to do uh, that to, uh, uh, to do it so we're going to have there 2 times 22 over 7 again the pi there is 22 over 7 times the radius is 8 meters so it will give us when we're going to plot it or uh, put it in our calculator we're going to do that um i usually do first 22 divided by 7 for the pi first so 22 divided by 7 it will give uh, give me that that number 3.1428 uh, 57 14 29 it will give uh, me that number then i will um Multiply it to 2 times the radius, which is 8. So, it will give us 50.28 meters there. So, if you're going to take it to 22 over 7, there. Next one, we have this a problem solving that where the figure shown is a semicircle. Find the perimeter there. So, perimeter, give your answer to one decimal place. So, make sure if you're being asked to one decimal place, you, can, you could use the uh, 3.14. But to make sure that you are uh, making it correctly, you could do the 22 over 7. Okay. So, semicircle. So, how are we going to do it? Okay. So, the, the figure is like this. So, 30. So, we have the 30 centimeter and the figure is there. Semicircle. Okay, so what's the formula and how to compute for it? So we have there, let's solve. So the semicircle, the given the diameter is 30 centimeters. And the, uh, we're going to use first circumference is equals to pi times the diameter. Because the diameter is given there, that's 30. Okay, there. And so we're going to have the 3.14, which is the pi, 
So, the, okay, times 30. Or you could also use to make sure that you're making it uh, close to the decimal. We're going to use 22 the, or 22 over 7 times 30. Okay, because the 22 over 7 will give us this number, uh, the lower number, that 3.14, 28, 15, 14, 19. Sorry, I just read it in that way. I did not read it in the decimal point it's because it's uh, very long. Okay, so let's see the difference if we will just use the 3.14 and the 22 over uh, 7. There. So the, when we use, when we multiply 3.14 times 30, it will give us 94.2 centimeters. But if we're going to use the pi, which is 22 over 7 times 30, it will give us 94.2857. Okay? There. Or, then. Yeah. So there's difference between that. Okay? So make sure what is us, you just, just follow it. Okay? So, the circumference of the circle is 94.28. I used the uh, 22 over 7 um, product. Okay. Or, if you're going to move it to one decimal place, so it will give us 94.3. And, it's not yet done because we're looking for the semicircle. So, what's, what's next to do? Next to do is one half of the circumference of the circle is equals to one half times 93.3 centimeters there so you will multiply the 94.3 okay from it is from here there okay so you will multiply it to one half which is one half is 0 0.5 and it will give us there the answer or uh, the product is 47.15 and you're going to add the uh, radius of 30 okay 30 centimeter because it was the one that is given so your answer will be okay the answer is 47.15 plus 30 is equal to 77.15 centimeter Ayan. So, therefore, the perimeter of the semicircle with the um, measures of 30 centimeters is 77.15 centimeters. Okay, there. So, let's have another um, drill for, yeah. The figure shown is a quarter circle. A while ago, we have the semicircle. Now, we have the quarter circle. And we're going to find its perimeter, okay? Give your answer to two decimal place, okay? So, now we're going to look for the two decimal place. So, if it's two decimal place, we're going to use the 22 over 7. Let's have this figure, okay? That's 20 there, so, 20 for the quarter circle, 20 meters. Let's solve them. Let's analyze. Okay, quarter circle, 20 uh, meters. So, we have there the circumference is equals to 2 times pi times the radius. And we have there, again, you could use the 3.14, but we are being asked of 2 decimal point. So, I am going to use the 2 times 22 over 7 times 20. I just include the 2 times 3.14 uh, 3 times 20 for you to see the difference if we are going to use the 3.14 um, compared to 27, uh, 22 over 7. There. Okay, so your answer would be for, if you, for um, the pi of 3.14, it will give us 125.6 meters while the 22 over 7 pi will give us the 125.71 meters there so see the difference it's just within the what do you call this the decimal okay but we are we are asked to use that two decimal place so use the 27 over uh, 22 over 7 And uh, since it's a quarter circle, we're going to have the one half of the circumference is equals to 125.6, okay? 
divide, divide 4. You're going to divide it by 4 because that's only a quarter circle. Okay? So, it could be that 125.6 meters divided by 4 or the 125.71 divided by 4. And it will give us 31.4 or 31.42 meters there. So, that's the answer. But not yet, but that's only the one-fourth of the circumference. We're going to look for the perimeter. So, what's the perimeter of it? So, the perimeter of the quarter circle there is 31.4 plus 20 plus 20. Why uh, plus 20 meters plus 20 meters? Because we have there the given quarter circle 20 only. So, we're going to look first for the we're going to double it. So, plus 20 plus 20. If you could remember in the semicircle, we just uh, add the, um, the, the given only once. But here in the quarters, you're going to use it twice. Plus 20 plus 20. And that will give us 71.42 to the dec two decimal place. There. And let's answer this one. Where next drill, we have the nearest whole number. Diameter is 5, radius is 6. Okay, so what's the formula for the, the diameter? Okay, so we have the circumference is equals to pi times diameter. So again, since it's a whole number, we are free to use the 3.14. So, 3.14 times 5 is equals to 15.7 and the 15.7 centimeters is near 16 centimeters. So, nearest whole number. Next one, we also have this radius is equals to 6 centimeters and the circum uh, circumference formula would be 2 times pi times the radius. And then, so we have the 2 times the pi times the radius and then we're going to have this 2 times 3.14 times 6 cent, uh, centimeter. Why I use 3.14? Because we are only asked to whole number. Okay, so it will give us 37.68 centimeters and the 37.68 centimeters, centimeters rather is near 38 centimeters. So that's the whole number of the radius of 6 centimeters. Okay, so I do hope it's clear to you on how I um, explain it to you guys. Okay, well, thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel. My channel is Teacher IR. God bless everyone and uh, please don't forget to pray always. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your support to my channel. Bye-bye. God bless.